Hey everybody, it's John here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a button to your Power BI reports that's going to allow a user to refresh the underlying data set. So whether the user is consuming the report in Teams or embedded in a SharePoint site, etc., they're going to be able to click on this button and make sure they get the latest data set to view the report with. So to do this, we're going to use Power Automate. So let's head over to flow.microsoft.com and we're gonna create a new flow and we're gonna create an instant flow. And we're just gonna name this uh, something like refresh data set. And what's going to trigger the flow is going to be the HTTP request trigger. So when a HTTP request is received, then our automation is going to kick off. Let's select that and hit create. And if I click on this to expand this out, so when we save this flow, we'll eventually get a URL generated here that we can use inside our Power BI button. Now, in order to do that, we're going to need to set the method here as a get request. So let's set that in the advanced options. So this is what's going to trigger the refresh. And now we just need to add a new step to our flow here that actually refreshes our Power BI data set. So let's search for Power BI here. And the action we want here is refresh a data set. So let's select that one. And we just need to select our workspace that our report is in and select the underlying data set for that report. And now let's hit the save button. And if we expand this out, we now have a URL here. So let's copy that and head back to our Power BI report. And I'm gonna edit this report. And I just need to make a little bit of space in this report. So I'm gonna delete this card right here and head up here and add a button. So let's add a blank button here. And I'm gonna drag that over here. And we can add some button text so we can let people know that this is for refresh. So let's add the word refresh here and maybe make this a little bit bigger. And we can also add some other styling here, but what we need is to add an action for this. So let's turn this on. And the type of action we're gonna do is we're gonna hit a web URL. And then if we paste in that web URL from our Power Automate trigger that we copied, then when we press this button, it's going to call that URL and that's gonna trigger our automation, and then we're gonna refresh our data set. So let's save this report, and I'm just going to go into reading view, and let's try clicking that button. So it is going to open up this useless browser tab, and now if I go back to Power Automate, and let's just go back here, we can see that that uh, flow has been triggered. And if I take a look inside there, you can see it ran successfully. So we got that HTTP request from that URL that our button triggered, and then we refreshed our data set. So that's how you can add a button to your Power BI reports that's going to allow a user to refresh the underlying data set. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.